For anyone that has considered how to get the internet in their van, many will have seen and may even have bought an off-the-shelf motorhome internet solution like one of these. In this video, we're going to take a look at them, see what you get for your money, and share an almost identical setup that could save you over £250. Don't forget to check out our other videos on everything campervan and motorhome related, from solar to water, heating to gadgets, tyres to trips. If you like this video, please do hit the thumbs up. It really does help me to know what you like, and you can ask any questions or give feedback in the comments. If you want to make sure you don't miss any of our future videos, please hit the subscribe button and clicking the bell will give you a notification when a new video goes live. Finally, if you do decide to hit the thumbs down, it would be great if you could also leave a comment so I'd know what you didn't like. Each one of these kits is made up of three main parts, a router and a power supply to allow it to run from 12 volts and an antenna. A first impression may be that these will be better for use in a camper van or motorhome because they are made specifically for that purpose. Well, some may be surprised to hear that none of these are actually made by the company that's put the kit together. In each case, it's possible to buy either exactly the same or comparable parts individually for a substantial saving. Let's start by taking a look at the routers. The Kuma router appears to be a Chinese 20C LT22M available for around £40. The Max View appears to be a Teltonica RUT240, available for around £130. The Avtex, a Teltonica RUT950, available for around £160. And the Motorhome Wi-Fi, a Huawei B535232, which you can get for around £135. A point of note for the Kuma is that it appears that their creatively worded website suggests, at least to me, that their product is UK designed and manufactured to the highest specification. Although I'm sure they would say that Kuma UK is the title and they only actually say it is designed and manufactured to the highest specification. Since I'm pretty confident the unit is an import from China. When it comes to antennas, the Kuma appears very similar to the Teltonica Combo Mimo, available for around €25. Euros. The Avtex, Maxview and Motorhome Wi-Fi all appear to be branded versions of Panorama antennas LPMM660 model, which costs around £150. The Panorama antenna has a good specification, but some of the information shared by the package sellers could be a little dubious, as on occasions they seem to quote the gain or performance of the antenna when used in the 4900 to 6000 MHz band, which it performs best in, but unfortunately there are no UK or European LTE databands in that frequency range. It still does perform well, just not quite as high a number in the bands that we do use. A pitfall of the Panorama is that it doesn't have a lot of flexibility when it comes to mounting, having to be either through the roof or using a bracket attached to the roof. My preference of similar antennas from pointing, where the MIMO 3 performs in the same ballpark, have much more flexible options to mount, including self-adhesive surface, pole, rail or even magnetic mounting, reducing the need for large holes in your van and making it easier to move the antenna if you change vans. When it comes to 12 volt power supplies, well the Maxview and Avtex packages using Teltonica routers have it easy, as the units can be run on anything from 9 volts to 30 volts, so just need to be connected to your leisure battery with a suitable fuse. The motorhome Wi-Fi and the Kuma units being more sensitive and designed for 12 volts, will would need a stabilised 12 volt supply, available for less than £10. In a moment we'll look at exactly what we've been able to put together and how little it costs compared with the £449 motorhome Wi-Fi. But first let's take a look at all the packages and how prices of the components stack up. Starting with the Kuma Connect kit costing £199, with around £40 including delivery for the alternative router from China, a good quality pointing puck 2 antenna at around £50 and a 12 volt adapter for less than £10, the total cost is £100, a £99 saving over the kit. 
Moving to the MaxView Roam kit at £349, you can get the RUT240 router from Amazon UK at just over £130. If you want the panorama antenna, you can get that for £142, but I prefer the flexible mounting options of the Pointing Mimo 3, which with our discount code can be got for £139.98 from solwise.co.uk. And no 12 volt adapter is needed for the RUT240 router. The total is around £270, so a rough saving of £80. Now looking at the Avtex AMR985 kit, the same Teltonica RUT950 can be bought from Amazon.uk currently for £164 and with the same panorama or pointing antenna options as the MaxView and no power adapter needed again, the total comes to £300, an approximate £50 saving. Finally, the Motorhome Wi-Fi 5G Ready Flex Kit, which costs £449. The same Huawei router can be purchased from Amazon again at £135.97, and again the same antenna options and the sub £10 12 volt adapter, you're looking at less than £300, a saving of around £150. Now, there are some things that could be benefits of paying the extra for full kits. So, for the Kuma alternative router coming from China, you will have to wait longer and any support for the router may be more difficult. Some of the kits may add some small additions, for example the Motone Wi-Fi kit includes a wall mount for the router, though you can get similar for around £10 if you want it. Some of the setup of the devices may already have been completed by the kit provider, but as we'll see in a minute, and from the other videos on Teltonica routers, it's not a difficult task. The support you get from these big names and having everything supplied by one UK company may make it easier. However, I know at least one of these companies refers their customer to the router manufacturer for support anyway, so it may not be the case. Some of the kits may include a branded phone app, which may or may not be better than the one provided by the router manufacturer. To put our money where our mouth is, we decided to see just how cheaply we could replicate the Motorhome Wi-Fi 5G Ready Flex Kit, set it up and try it out. First we needed a router, and we know that the Motorhome Wi-Fi Kit uses the Huawei B53232, so that's what we went to look for. Before we jumped at a new one from Amazon, we checked out eBay and found that as these have been used by quite a few UK 4G broadband providers, there are usually quite a few available second hand. We grabbed one for just £26 plus £2.76 delivery. As we mentioned before, the MIMO 3 antenna from Pointing is our go-to antenna and the V2 12 model suits this router perfectly. And with our Explore Van discount from solwise.co.uk, you can get one for just under £140. As the router only comes with a 240 volt adapter, we grabbed a stabilised 12 volt adapter to protect it for £7.99p, meaning a grand total of £176.73, saving us £272.27 if we had bought the kit. Obviously, bear in mind that we chose to save further money by buying a second-hand router, which doesn't have a warranty, but you could choose to pay a little bit more for a brand new one and still make a substantial saving. The kit would have also come with a wall mount for the router, which we didn't need, but if you did, you could get something similar for around £10. So here is the Huawei B535232 Cat7 LTE router. We got which is the same as provided in the Motorhome Wi-Fi 5G Ready Flex package. Came with a 240 volt power adapter, and on the back, if you remove the panel, you can access the external antenna connections. Our pointing MIMO 3 antenna is mounted to the roof using the self-adhesive surface mount, so it's really easy to fit, and the cables come in the same entry point as our solar panel cables, so no need for extra holes in the roof. Then it's simply a case of popping a SIM into the router. We still love our unlimited plan from Smarty, but you also have some great plans for lower usages, which all have no ties and no throttling, so you can try them out with no commitment. And if you use our referral link in the video notes, you'll get a £10 gift card totally free when you sign up. We're going to use that 12 volt stabilised adapter to power the router from our leisure battery. Connecting the external antenna is simple.
and then we just plug in the power. Then over the next 30 seconds we see the LTE signal connect. The internet light turns blue to indicate that it's connected. And finally the Wi-Fi light comes on. And that's all you have to do. It's now up and running. Using the information on the back of the router, you can use it straight away. But if you want to do any fancy things like changing the Wi-Fi name, you can manage the router from either the Huawei app on the phone, as we are here, or like we are here on the browser from either a laptop or a tablet. One of the reasons we picked this router to try is that it has lots of options to customise it and hacks to make it better, so watch out for a future video on these. So overall what's our conclusion? Well the hardware provided in these kits, particularly in the MaxView Avtex of motorhome Wi-Fi packages, are good and are of the spec and manufacturers we would recommend but you are paying quite a premium to have them in a box with a picture of a motorhome on it. You can save yourself quite a bit of money and give yourself extra flexibility, particularly when it comes to mounting the antenna, by purchasing items separately. And the setup, as you've seen, is pretty simple. There are potentially some benefits to buying the package, but only you can decide if the extra cost justifies it for you. Thanks for watching our video and as always, if you have any questions or feedback, please pop them in the comments below. If you find the video useful, please like, share and consider subscribing.